Good day, students. All of you in JSS1, I greet you. While you watch the video, you need to respond to the greeting. You don't just say, I have watched. When we greet you, you respond to it, just as we are, as we normally do in our normal class. We'll be having our usual class this today. And on the topic, maintenance of tools and machines. We have been talking about woodwork tools, woodwork tools, woodwork tools. The measuring, the ones used to measure, marking out, the ones to mark, then cutting tools like the saw. We talked about the boring tools like the brace, electrical, hand drill, and so many. We graduated to level of a metal work and tools after we we're done with the woodwork. You remember this time? We're talking about measuring, marking out, cutting, boring, and so many others. In our last work, we talked about maintenance of metal work and tools. That's the, we talk about drilling, cutting, and boring tools, rather, of metal work, uh, for metal work. Drilling, boring, and cutting tools. Then we now went further to round it up with maintenance of all these metal work uh, tools. How do you care for them? Today we are looking at machines and tools, not just tools alone. It was restricted to tools the other week. That is previous class. Now we are looking about machines and tools. How do you care for them? In our usual manner, we need to look at the objectives for this lesson. We call it the learning objectives. There are no more strange, uh, or that language or word is no more strange to you again. We, we look at what we intend to achieve today. That is, at the end of this lesson, students should be able to, one, define maintenance, two, state the importance of maintenance, three, or lastly, mention and define the types of maintenance. That is what we want to look at today. Then we look at the content of today's talk. What is maintenance? The word maintain, maintain, you'll be hearing it maintain, not men. Some people pronounce it as maintenance. Men is M E N. This is a maintenance. It is the art of keeping equipment or tools or machine in good conditions by ensuring that it is regularly checked. It's not that you do the checking today, tomorrow you feel I have already done it yesterday. I could regularly, you begin to look at it, you begin to look at it. Example is a car owner, a man, who ensures that the level of oil in his engine, when he opens, when he wants to drive in the morning, he brings out the, the he comes to close to the vehicle, he will open the bonnet and check the level of oil in that engine and then goes to the radiator to check the level of water, whether water is there and oil is there, before he starts the vehicle and begin to move. That is regular checking. Even if he comes back this night, tomorrow morning he needs to do, he needs to do it again. Regular checking. That is maintenance. You do not just say, ah, I have checked it yesterday, so today I can. That is wrong. Regular checking of this thing to make sure it is in good condition or working condition. That is what we call maintenance, keeping equipment in good condition by checking them regularly. Then you, we need to move to, you see this man, he's servicing generator. Just like we have a gym in our school, you just bring somebody to come and service it. This is man is servicing generator. This generator is not that it's really faulty, it's just to make sure the man checks inside whatever that is yeah, that may cause problem in future. That is the checking he's doing regularly. These things will be done every weekend. You have your engineers who come to, or technicians who come to service your generators that use your various houses. It may be coming Fridays or Saturdays, as the case may be. Every Saturday, he will just come, you switch it on, and then he does the, the checkup. And then it's not only human beings that needs checkup, equipment also need checkup. This is person working on a vehicle. This one also is doing checkup. The bonnet is open, like I told you, in the morning before he kicks off. He is the owner of the vehicle and is checking the components of 
the engine before it can ignite the vehicle and begin to drive. As you get somewhere and begin to discover fault that the vehicle is broken down because you didn't do what you were supposed to do, that regular check-in or check-up, that is the maintenance, keeping our equipment or machines in good condition by regularly checking them. That is what we mean. Then we now have the types of maintenance. We have types of maintenance. This maintenance is categorized into three types. One is preventive maintenance. Preventive maintenance. Another one, predictive maintenance. And lastly, corrective maintenance. The preventive, preventive maintenance, let us check them one after the other. Preventive maintenance is done on equipment, it's called routine maintenance. It is done on equipment when there is no pregnant signal noticed on the particular equipment or when the equipment is not totally broken. Let me use that word. You, like uh, you've seen, somebody, you don't be watching TV with your gen. There is no problem with the gen. The electrician will just come and service it. That is check up. There is no sign that this gen will spoil or it is broken already. No, they will just come and pieces it and then service it could be greasing and other things or brushing them and then using water fuel to clean up everything. So that there will be no future breakdown, no problem will come up when you do not need it. That is what we mean. So that is preventive. You want to prevent to stop the unforeseen or the future breakdown. That is the maintenance. You say regular routine maintenance, carry that on equipment to avoid any breakdown. You do this to stop the breakdown that may come somewhere. That is the preventive from the word prevent. It includes checking, it's just the like we have seen now, then servicing, like I've explained, servicing of your generator, machine, motor, and all that. Then the next one is predictive maintenance. From the word predict, that means you have seen that something is going to happen somewhere. That is the predictive maintenance. The predictive maintenance is done when the equipment has started giving you sign. For example, you, you put, if you are using your gen, you are beginning to see that it is powering your, your house, but some equipment or some appliances can no longer be powered by that gen. You may switch off the fridge, you switch off the fan, but it can power the uh, television and your other little, little things. You will know that this thing will still serve you for like one hour. While you are still using it to power to watch the TV, you know that a problem is occurring in that, it's already in that generator. It's showing, some may be doing boom, 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 that is going up and going down, fluctuating in the sound and all that, showing you that there's a problem somewhere, or it could be your fan, ceiling fan. When you sit at home, you are using the fan, begin to hear noise. You do not hear the noise before. It is showing you that something is going to break. That sign you are saying. Or in the dashboard of a car. This modern, these things are modern devices that are used. On the dashboard of a car, you could see a red light that shows there. This red light, once it is on, the driver knows that something bad is happening in the engine of that car. It's used to examine possibility of bring down. The, this one is using modern devices, like that red light I've shown you, for you to know that a particular thing is coming to happen soon. Then you now maintain, you now correct or repair that particular uh, component or that particular machine. What maintainer you have done is called a predictive because a signal or a sign has already been seen before you did this maintainer. Unlike the first one, when there was no signal or no sign, or there was no breakdown, and you just service or maintain it. Then the last one is the corrective maintenance. From the word correct, what has gone wrong is to put it normal. That is corrective. What has gone wrong to put it in normal place? So it is the type of maintenance you do on an equipment or machine when the equipment is already broke down or uh, on its own. It is broken down already. That is the equipment you do. It may be it may be you are just watching after this one occur. Let me tell you, this occur because we are failed to do the uh, preventive, the predictive, and then you now see yourself landing there. If you do not do the preventive, you will, next thing you begin to see is to hear the sound or see the sign. That is the next thing. And you still refuse.
to, to correct or fix that fault or maintain that equipment. The next thing is to totally break down. And then you have no other choice but not to restore. It is called overhauling. This one here has a, it's a type of maintainer that's called overhauling maintainer. That is restoring back to what has been destroyed, what has been lost. That is this type of maintainer. Please take note of that. Then we have the importance of maintainers, like we said. Importance. Why do we really do maintainers? Why do we really engage in maintenance activities? Why? It increases the span of equipment or machine. If you maintain something, it will last long. That's all I mean. What should I have spoiled today will last long. Then another thing, it reduces the cost of repair damaged uh, equipment. If you have something that is not spoiled, you service it and service it. The man that comes to repair that generator, like I've shown to you here, this man that is servicing this generator, they collect 2,000 naira for his job. But when the generator breaks down, that is what you have spent. When it breaks down, it is no longer working. It will tell you that that place is trying to wash with foil or grease. You need to buy it. You will buy the part probably with 2,000 naira, and then you will not pay 2,000 for work machine. So you can see that it is costly. So it avoids that chance of uh, uh, having a more cost, it reduces it. Then it prevents accidents, especially in the workshop. Even cars, you are using the car, there's something giving you sign that the brake is not good, and you, you are seeing the sign, you begin to manage it, manage it, you fail to fix it, it can cause accident. And uh, lastly, it, it avoids sudden breakdown of equipment. And second to the last, sorry, it avoids sudden breakdown of equipment. Sudden means unexpectedly. You are just using that thing, the thing will just spoil at once. Then lastly, it saves time. Because the time you will use to do preventive and predictive is slower than or shorter than when you want to overhaul the equipment, do the total repair. That is what we mean by that. Then we have maintenance activities you do on equipment, like a painting, you paint the equipment, you use brush for it, you use oil and grease, and so many other. This is a paint, this is brush, this is oil that are used for this equipment. This, uh, we need to have a recap of what we have said. We said maintenance is the, of a uh, machine or equipment, is the art of keeping equipment or equip, uh, machine in good condition by regularly checking it. We said we have types of maintenance, the preventive, Preditive and corrective. We said the preventive is the one you do when the equipment has not given sign and it has not been broken. The preditive is when you begin to see sign and you maintain. Why the corrective? It is when it's totally broken and overhauling maintenance. We talked about the importance. Why we need to maintain too? We said it saves time, it prevents accident and so many others. Then some maintenance activities also looked at it as a brushing painting, and so many others. Till we meet again, remember less, I am still your basic technology teacher. Thank you very much.